Yeah, see? Yeah. Okay, everybody, we're just talking here about how Call of Duty World War II is a thing. It is out, and it's fun. They're, they're busy in conversation, so we're just going to let them be now. But how's it going, everybody? Kyle here, and, and like I said, it's Call of Duty World War II time. And to be honest, this game is so good. It is so good. And I was sort of iffy about it. Seeing how COD hasn't been feeling too great past while, like Infinite Warfare, I just dropped off of that thing. Black Ops 3 was pretty good, but I, I definitely had my fill of that as well. But then back to Boots on the Ground, this thing feels so good. And as you can see, we're in this sort of social space in the multiplayer area, and there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do here, but we're not going to get into that here. We're here for gameplay. Um, with my pre-order uh, bonus, you do get... Um, one prestige token so for that what I did was I went ahead and I unlocked the bar this is the assault rifle that you would unlock normally at level 52 so I figured you might as well go for something that's gonna take forever to unlock because by the time you unlock it you have a couple levels left and then boom the prestige is gone so might as well have fun with it the whole time so if we take a look at this thing oh yes it's so good it's so good. So, automatic fire, uh, blah, 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 automatic rifle with moderate recoil and fast fire rate. Like, it's fast, but at the same time, it still feels like it chugs. Like, it's really good. I love the balance between it. And the moderate recoil, it's so noticeable. Like, it has a capacity of 20. Like, the clip is 20, so it's kind of small. But if you're on point, there is no issue. It's just like, it's a straight shot, basically. Like, the stats don't really show it too much, but it's like, the range is a lot better than you would think. And then throw on uh, the, the sight and everything to it, and you are good to go. Yeah, because we have that on. So we have quick draw, grip, and lens sight. It, overall, like, that boosts the accuracy so much. Like, and the damage is up there, too. Like, uh, it's so good. So... We're going to be doing this first match with this gun. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so we are in the match. This is Ardennes Forest, and it's actually the first time that I've gotten uh, this map in the full game. I've only played this one in the beta. It hasn't been in rotation since I've been playing. But a lot of the maps that are here in this game, oh my god, they are, it's really good map design. Oh, so close. <laughs> Guys, can I just like, eat all. Thank you. Goodness, people, just stop talking. Also, games need to give an option to stop using mics. Oh, this thing is so solid. Yeah, so it's a 20 clip size, which is kind of small, but this thing is just a straight shot. Like, you do not have to worry about it. We, oh, come on now. And with it being one of the guns that you unlock right at the end of your levels, ooh, um, it's not something that you get to use a lot. So I decided to use my prestige token on it. So I didn't prestige it all. It was from the uh, the pre-order bonus that you get the... Uh, oh. Yeah, it's the pre-order bonus that you get a, um, a prestige token so you can unlock anything. I was just like, I like assault rifles, usually the way I rock. So, hey, 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 slow down. Oh, and I was like, why don't I just use it on a gun? That's going to take me forever to get, or it's going to take me forever to, or I only have a short time to use before I end up prestiging. So, I got the bar, and this thing is, it's beautiful, like high impact, like, decent fire rate. I would have thought it was slower, but no, it's pretty fast. Clip size of 20, like I was saying before, it seems pretty small, but it's like, your shots, it's pretty much a dead aim. If you're actually aiming properly, that I was just sort of dragging along. I could have done better there. But it just, it feels so solid. I find between here and the beta, I'm enjoying the game so much more. I like the beta, but I found that the hit detection was eh. And then, just like the way that they... Uh, displayed it with the uh, not display but just like the sounds of the hit detection was it wasn't very sharp 
but now it's like they've really changed the sound. Ah! Ah, incendiary shotgun rounds. Never forget. Yeah, now it just like it sounds so intense. Oh, 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 oh. oh god. I should have gone prone, but I didn't. Oh, 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 oh. get that, please. Please. No, okay. Yeah, like, hit detection feels on point so far. I know that with it being uh, launch weekend, it's kind of crazy for the servers. They're doing some balancing. There have been some hot fixes already, and it's it's been going pretty well so far. And no complaints, really, on the lag or anything. And I'm enjoying myself. And I think the maps that they picked for the beta are my least favorite. And the other maps that they didn't release and that are in the full game here are amazing. Like, I love the newer maps. So, you don't really get to see that here. So, maybe next match we get something not from the beta. Oh, get him. Oh, damn it. I just got to work on my aim. Ooh, ooh. Teammates, please. Yes. Go for it. You you handle that one. I'm just gonna peace out of here. Where are you? Ah, right there. Thanks for answering the call, at least. But the game feels good. It's just so fun. And getting this weapon, it just feels so good. Because the base assault rifle, I was not surviving that, is okay. But I feel like I just end up playing poorly with it majority of the time. And so part of that is me warming up to the game, part of it is just me not liking the gun, and also being like the first gun that you have, so it's not going to be the perfect fit for everybody, but getting this one, like level 52 unlock, hey, 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 buddy, 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 thanks. It just, oh, like I'm not even counting how many shots it takes, but it's like, it's like, it sounds like three or four body shots and they're down, which is pretty insane if you think about it. But it's just, it's so intense. So having a smaller clip size, I'm totally okay with. Because it's not one that you're meant to um, just like spray and pray. Not like an LMG or anything. So you really do take advantage of the, um, the, what am I trying to say here? Oh, oh I thought I was out of there. Of like the range and just the, the the manageable recoil it's so such a predictable recoil pattern like it just it's easy feels good man you you handle that sure i'm gonna go this way because i want to i don't see nobody i'll get back here you sucker uh, uh, uh oh uh oh you're down so good. So good. Oh. And you see if you get multiple people like that, if they're lined up, you can take them out. It's one of those things, though, where you can't just, like, run around and maybe not reload. You're friendly. Okay. Because you might not have enough. You have to be very precise with this gun. But I find even with me still warming up to the mechanics of the game and whatnot, it just it feels on point. <clears throat> it, yeah, it's just solid all around. Haven't had too much bayonet charge action, so happy for that. Oof. Defeat! I was like top of the leaderboard. <laughs> 16 and 10. I went positive. Oh, check it out. Oh, look at this. Heroic service. <clears throat> oh my god, this gun is so good. Oh, look at that sepia tone. So this is London Docks, and it's uh, definitely more of a close quarters map. A few decent range uh, areas, but overall still pretty closed off. So not one of my favorites of the new maps, but overall still pretty good. I feel like everything in general plays out fairly well, so no huge complaints. There are a couple though that are just ugh, so good. Oh, I can hear footsteps. There we go. I knew there was somebody somewhere. Like, footsteps, I can actually hear them in this game, which is definitely nice to know. Oh. But you took him down? Oh, it's... 
How did we access that again? Oh, it's from back there. Okay, I remember now. There's a tunnel. Oof. Get that. Um, I also changed to the to the squad legendary jacket, and I have the the beta helmet. So looking pretty good right now. I I I yeah. I don't know what I was gonna say. That's the one thing. Like the last video I put up here was like Destiny 2, like maybe three weeks ago. But I've just been so busy with school and everything that I just haven't had time to like sit down and record and really enjoy it. And even with Destiny 2 in general, it's like I enjoy playing the game, but I just since I don't have people to really play with and do uh, the raids or the nightfalls or strikes or anything with, it's sort of not as fun. So I don't take full advantage of like that game content. Come on. Oh man. So I sort of just I like to stick with the the PVP and the Crucible, and then that doesn't really get you the higher gear, so I haven't really progressed that much that way. And then, just with me being so busy, it's like I'll play every once in a while, and I get so frustrated because I'm out of practice that... Oh, good, good. Yeah, I just... Eh. But Call of Duty, you just point a gun, you shoot, you do good. You play matches, and that's how it goes. And so far, this Call of Duty has been a huge refresher for me. Like, it just feels so good. It looks so good. I... Everything about it. Oh my god, you got me. Like, I really was hesitant to get this game, but... There's something that told me to get it, and I'm glad I did. It really... It just... It feels so good. It sounds so good. It just plays so well. Everything so far from my experience, has been pretty balanced, and I'm pretty sure within the next couple of weeks, when they figure things out, it's going to be pretty fleshed out, and right off the bat, it's a pretty good game. It's not like there's something extremely broken, I mean, in terms of my experience, so I have no complaints. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I got you. Puncture. Through the wall. I was going to say, if my team isn't winning right now, I don't know what's going on. Oh, buddy. Step step in here. Oh, man, this thing is intense. I'm just gonna take that. Thank you. Bloodthirsty. Sweet. Oh, shotgun. I actually had a shriek for once. Uh, I guess I can't have everything. But, you know... I'm get, getting a recon playing. No complaints. Oh, there be them bombs. Oh, I choked. I still didn't die, so you know what? Whatever. Are you still in here, though? That's the question. They're all going to be coming up from this way. Oh! That was a case of me 100% choking. So, no excuses. And just like the way the game plays out, I was really frustrated with the, um, without having a limited sprint, but now it's, I've figured it out, and I understand how the game works a lot better. Oh, stop. I was doing so good, now my KD's going down again. My KD's like a one, like, but from game to game, I, there are some times where I do better, and I just, I live for those moments. Oh, you took my friend out, but I took you out. Listen to those footsteps. I don't even have a perk on, and I can just hear your footsteps. It's beautiful. Oh, but, oh! Shotguns, if they were just removed from video games, period, like, that would just, it would change the game. It would be a beautiful thing. But we all know that's not gonna happen, so just something we gotta live with. I don't even have a class for shotgun, because that's just, it's not my deal, but... Eventually, I'll have to get into it and see see if maybe I'm missing out. Yeah, let's go check out this underground tunnel. Oh, so sick. And it stopped running. That's one thing is you can't really get too far, but at the same time, it's, there's not actually that far to go in a map. So you don't need to go charge headstrong in. So 
again with like the no unlimited sprint it actually helps me play more tactically like sort of just forces my hand a bit more oh my god you got me I swear I had you you lucky son of a gun we win yay they are in full retreat oh yeah I bet they are Ah, shotguns. Of course. Da, 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 da. That was me that he shot right there. 18 and 11. That's pretty good, but then... Mama clone. 19 and 3. Doing pretty good. Supply drop, supply drop. Do it, do it, do it. Sometimes it doesn't even drop any. You know? Like, it just... It does that. I guess we were unworthy so it looks like we got a supply drop but yeah look at my dude actually get in the sun now look at my dude sick you can actually change the faces of the people and whatnot so i'm not like that standard dude anymore which is pretty nice and then this jacket like can i have it in real life please it's so beautiful like that 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 burgundy and that that yellow Urgh, so good and that helmet Urgh. okay I am um, not paying attention here, so uh, let's do this. So the su supply drops, you are supposed to be technically in an area with other players, and you can watch other people open up their supply drops, but I haven't been running into too many people there. So five minutes weapon XP. I don't know how to activate those. I haven't really done that. Take a gander, emote, show me. And then the grips, they don't tell you what gun they're for. Bye. You're gone. But yeah, that is gonna do it. So thank you everybody for watching and stay tuned for some more Call of Duty World War II. I'm enjoying this thing. I hope you guys are. I know Call of Duty's sort of been in a rough patch past few years, but I think this game really has enough to to, to, to change to change the meta change the way Call of Duty has been viewed the past few years. But yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned.